Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to be doing Green Gloves by The National. Um, so this involves a bit of finger picking. I think the best thing to do is just to practice the finger picking. So one of the chords we're going to be playing is an A. That's the easiest one because we're only using one finger. So we'll just practice the finger picking pattern first. We're going to put this ring finger on the third fret on the E string. I'm counting my frets from the capo. So that's one, two, three. Um, we're going to put our thumb on the E string, index finger on the D string, middle finger on the G string, and we're just going to go thumb, index, middle, index, like that. So it just goes one, two, three, two, like that. The strings we're picking are E, D, G, D. Okay, so I'll just do that eight times to get us warmed up with the picking. I'm going to do it nice and slow like that. So one, two, three, four, go eight times through. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So now what, we're going to take that finger picking pattern that pretty much goes throughout the song uh, and we're going to apply it to our chords. So our first chord is a G major 7. Uh, the way that we play this is to put our index finger on the first fret, remember we're counting from the capo, first fret on the E string, ring finger is going to go third fret on the A string and middle finger is going to go second fret on the D string. So that's our chord there. Okay, and the first time we're going to pick E string, D string, G string, D string like that. Okay, and the second time we're going to pick A string, D string, G string, D string. So in terms of the names of the strings that we're picking, it goes E, D, G, D, then A, D, G, D. Okay, now actually that only happens once, and then we move on to another bit. Practice sake, uh, we'll just go around E D G D A D G D eight times just to get practiced up on that. And we're going to go about that speed. So I'll count us in one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so the second part, as I say, we only actually do that once and then we move on to another part. So the second part of that is that we're going to play the A chord, and that's just our ring finger on the third fret, we do our normal picking pattern which is E, D, G, D, then we just take that finger off and do the same picking pattern E, D, G, D, okay, so that's ring finger third fret, picking the strings E, D, G and D, then no fingers anywhere, same picking the strings E, D, G, D, so we'll just do that four times for practice sake, and we'll go about that speed. So we'll count us in one, two, three, four. Cool, okay. <coughs> so that's actually the second half of a pattern. In the first half was. So our mission now is to string the two together. So we're going to be playing our first pattern and then our second pattern. Just remembering that our first one is the G major 7, index finger on the first fret, ring finger on the third fret, A string, middle finger on the second fret, D string. And we're picking E, D, G, D, A, D, G, D, like that. Then we take our ring finger, put it onto the third fret, 
and we're picking A, D, G, D, sorry, E, D, G, D, and then no fingers anywhere, E, D, G, D again. So we're going to go. And then over to our other pattern. And once you string those together like that, that's the pattern that takes us through most of the verses for the song. So I'm going to go through that whole pattern eight times uh, for us to practice along to, and then we'll go on to the other part that we're learning. Okay? So we're going to do this nice and slow, about that speed. So we'll count us in. One, two, three, four. times. So the pattern we've just been playing accounts for about two thirds of each verse. At the end of each verse there's a different pattern which goes... Cool, okay. Uh, now that comes in two parts. The first part goes... Okay, so this is the first time we break with our picking pattern. Um, we start out by playing um, this chord is roughly a B minor, but basically the way that we play it is um, if you play an A chord with all three of your fingers in the second fret on a D string, G string, B string, and then just take off that bottom finger, your ring finger. So your index finger is the second fret on the D string, remembering we're counting from the capo. Your middle finger is the 2nd fret on the G string, again counting from the capo. <clears throat> and the picking we're going to do is on the A string, D string, G string, D string. So we're going to go A, D, G, D, like that. Okay, that's the first half, so it goes A, D, G, D. Then we just play these two notes. So we're leaving behind our picking pattern here. <clears throat> and the two notes are 3rd fret on the A string and then 2nd fret on the A string. Um, now seeing as we're playing our chord with these two fingers, the easiest finger to reach up with is your ring finger. You see, first we do our picking pattern, A, D, G, D, then we reach up, here we are on the 3rd fret, and for me, I find it easiest to use my index finger, but you could also choose to use your middle finger to do that 2nd fret note. So we're going to have... We're picking A, D, G, D, then 3rd fret, 2nd fret, like that. Okay, we'll just do that through 8 times for practice sake. We're going to do it super slow, so just like that. Now count us in. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that bit there is just half of our pattern, and the other half is... Okay, so this second half starts out um, 
just like in our previous pattern where we're playing the A and we're doing a normal picking style which is so ring finger is going on the third fret and we're going E D G D like that okay that happens just once just like that so we're picking E string D string G string D string holding this finger on the third fret okay then what we do is we plonk our index finger down on the second fret on the G string <coughs> And then with these two fingers, our middle finger and our index finger, we're going to pick the B string, G string, B string, G string, like that. So we start out with our normal picking pattern, E, D, G, D, then index finger goes down here, and then we go B, G, B, G, like that. So it should go. So we'll do that through um, eight times, nice and slow, and then we'll try running our two patterns together. So we can go one, sorry, at that speed, so one, two, three, four. Cool, so what we've done is we've done the first half eight times and we've done the second half eight times, but what actually happens in the song is those two are run together, so it sounds like... That's what we'll do now, um, going through both of those two stuck together, remembering that our first one starts out looking a bit like an A chord. Index finger and middle finger on the th second fret of the D and G strings, and we're plucking A, D, G, D. Then we'll just play third fret, second fret on the A string, like that. Then our second half is ring finger down here on the third fret. Normal picking style, E, D, G, D, then we plonk down our index finger on the G string 2nd fret, and we go B, G, B, G, like that. Cool, okay. So let's run through that 8 times, we'll do it nice and slow like that, okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the last thing we're going to do is um, practice the structure of the verse. So the basic structure of the verse is our, our first pattern. That runs through four times. Uh, then we do two of our second pattern. Um, and then we just go back to two of these. So that's four of pattern A, if you want to call it pattern A. <clears throat> two of pattern B, and then back to pattern A for two. Okay, so we'll go through that nice and slow like that at speed. Okay, so I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. So we're now playing the fourth one. So after the 
first we're going to go over to our B pattern twice. Here comes part B now. That was our second time, so we're going to go back. Cool, okay, that should be enough to keep you busy for the week. Happy strumming, and I'll see you next week.